What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling in today my people? Listen, welcome back to another video and in today's video, so the title of this video is I've released over 50 plus times. That's just an estimate amount of how many times that I've released before I got on a high streak, okay? I probably released even more than that, but I want to speak on this topic of the endurance. Endurance of why it's important for us men to continue to stay on a journey regardless of trials and tribulations whatever comes our way all oh, glory to the most high god i had one of my best days in this month of my entire life the holy spirit definitely filled me back up with everything that i felt like i released out of my body i feel so filled up i feel at peace i feel thankful i feel blessed so i'm back with another video right so when i say i've released my seed over 50 plus times yes i'm sure it's probably been more but i didn't keep track from the time that i first indulged and got into the adult sites all the way to my age at 28 that's a lot of time of release imagine if i would have took this this journey seriously if i knew the power of this journey where i would have probably been in my life the amount of times that i've relapsed after relapse after relapse going one month relapse going two months relapsed you know on my way to hitting the month edging doing this and doing all type of different things that kept putting me back to where I didn't want to be. Imagine me deciding at 18, you know what? I'm gonna wait till marriage. Or, you know what? I'm gonna go three years plus. I'm gonna go a year on retention. One year is still definitely on my goals. I need to hit that milestone, but I still gotta go one month again and two, three, etc. you know? I need to heal. I need to heal, you know what I'm saying? I need to really heal. I need to definitely make sure that I stay the course, I stay on this righteous path. I cannot get weary of doing good. This is a good act that we're doing, fellas. Retaining is a good thing. I promise you that. It's gonna, it's gonna allow us to become stronger, to heal, to be masculine. It's gonna allow us to stay connected to the Most High God. It's gonna allow us to not help us not indulge into lustful, unrighteous things. It's very important. And I know so many people that that is probably around my age or younger, they have relapsed a lot of times. Probably not 50, but I'm telling you, I used to be that guy in high school. I used to relapse and release twice a week, twice a day sometimes, every other day. As soon as I get home from, from, from school, wank one off. But I was programming my mind because of the adult sites. The adult sites was one of the worst things that I've ever got introduced to. The adult sites has made me weak throughout the times, you know? All glory to the God for keeping me and protecting me and covering me and constantly forgiving me of the sin, this sin, uh, this wicked, wicked, unrighteous sin. Thank, thank you to the Most High God because if it wasn't for the Most High God, I probably wouldn't be here. I, I don't know where I would be in life. But the Lord kept me. The Lord's will for me was not that I should perish, that I should be lost. The Lord's will is that I, I come amongst these these other you know people of, of the world. Live in the world, but don't be the world. That's what the Lord was. This video is more freestyle because like, like I said, before I started really taking this journey seriously, and yes, I slip up and I fall short of the glory of God from time to time, but it's something about this one where the Lord has, he has his hand on me. He's not gonna let me release he's he's like he's he got me locked in the lord has me locked in right now and i am so excited and i'm so humbled I'm so i feel at peace right now i feel so at peace right now so like i said fellas do not get discouraged i've released over 50 plus times on my retention journey throughout the years if you add everything up before even I was on retention and knew what retention was, I was releasing. That spirit of releasing was on me. That lustfulness, the adult demonic sights were definitely consuming my mind. The enemy had me, but, but the Lord definitely had a plan to get me out. He was getting me out. And three years plus, I have not indulged into no porn. I have not indulged into no uh, fapping with my hand 
you know, y'all know my story. Y'all know that I've that I've fell short, you know, from fornication. But I know that, like I said, the Bible says that a righteous man will fall seven times, will get back up. It's only the wicked that will stay down. So because I know I'm a righteous man and I'm not wicked, I shall continue. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop because this journey is powerful. This journey is powerful. It's very powerful. When this is one of the best ways to stay obedient to the Most High God. It's like I said, if you want to retain till marriage, that's amazing. And the Most High God loves marriages, takes marriages seriously. If you want to do what my guy Lamont, Young Santana, is doing, you know, he's he's staying away from all forms of release. That's what he, and that's his calling. We all have our calling. The Lord has each of us retaining for a specific purpose, you know? For me, I just want to go at least one year. I need to at least go one year on this journey, married or not. Once I get married, I'm going to still be retaining. But the beautiful thing is once I'm married, I'm not going to be sinning. I'm not going to be fornicating. So once I'm married, I'm still going to be going crazy in the cheeks, but I'm not going to release the seeds. You see, so that's that's my journey, you know, that's that's my journey. My journey is to go one year. I know that's on my spirit because the Holy Spirit tells me this, you know? So I gotta go one year, regardless if I'm married or fiance, any of that. I gotta go one year. Stay focused. I gotta stay focused, go one year. You know what I mean? I gotta stay connected to the Father. I can't get distracted. Especially on me going towards hitting a month this time around. I cannot, cannot get distracted. I'm not even watching too many stuff into the word. Like I'm not trying to get distracted. I'm not trying to go out. I'm not trying to do too much. I'm trying to sit and be still with the Lord at all times so I don't go back and relapse again because I gotta go, you know? Monday was like the first, first start and my birthday is July 15th. From, so from this all the way to my birthday, come on, I gotta level up. But I don't wanna make this video too short I mean too long i hope y'all learned from something i hope this this you know inspired you to want to retain and stop relapsing because it's not good it's not worth it you know but by the grace of god i don't even feel like i did relapse because like i said i believe in my father i believe that he is faithful i believe that he is the same yesterday today and forever he filled me up and i'm just that's that's what i want to tell you regardless of how many times that you release Stay on the journey, never give up, but go to the Heavenly Father. He will fill you back up, I promise you. He will fill you back up, okay? So, I appreciate y'all. Peace be on to everybody that's watching this video. Until next time, much love.